Good evening, church. Good evening, church. Welcome to our Wednesday prayer meeting. To start our service, may I request everyone to please stand up as we open our service in a word of prayer. Let us pray. We are going to have the Father, we thank you for this time. For this time of uh, makapunta po kami sa aming bahay simbahan, Panginoon. And we just pray for this, our uh, Wednesday prayer meeting na uh, maging acceptable po ito sa inyong harapan. And we just pray for our uh, for the preacher as he preaches the word, Panginoon. And for our uh, uh, for our service tonight, Panginoon. And you may bless and you may answer our prayer. And kung sa aming mga member na may parating pa po, Panginoon, na uh, gabay niyo po sila sa kanilang pagpunta dito sa church. And ito lang po ang samat na langin sa Panginoon Yesus. Amen. Open your hymn books to page 198. Page 198 will be singing the song Onward, Christian Soldiers. Christian Soldiers. Are you there? Say Amen. Amen. On the first verse now, ready, sing. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as you walk. Good evening, everyone. Kung kayo ay pinagpala ng Panginoon to mga nakaraang araw, we would like to hear from you how the Lord blessed your life. Anybody who wants to share his or her testimony? Kayo ay pinagpala ng Panginoon. Kanina kami ni Brother Al Jade, namin naming nabisita, no? Meron pang isang tumanggap sa Panginoon. Uh, yun ay uncle ni Brother Engel. So, tumanggap siya sa pangang kanina and we praise the Lord for that. Ano yan eh, talagang uh, mahirap bahagian ng salita ng Diyos. Uh, pero, pinagtsagaan namin hanggang sa mag-humble down siya. And hanggang sa tumanggap siya sa Panginoon. And we praise the Lord for that. Meron ba kayo? Some, you want to share your testimony? How? Yeah, sister. Be right. Uh, uh, we have visited a long uh, member here na senior citizen na because nahirapan siyang umaten na dito sa church so hindi siya nakaka-attend. 
And um, na-visit namin siya nung birthday niya. Tamang-tama naman birthday niya nung nakapunta kami sa kanila. And I thank God for that kasi eh, matagal sila, matagal na rin siyang member dito sa church. Wow, amen. Any more? Yun, sa likod, Ma'am Rose. Good evening, church. Good evening po, Pastor. Today is a blessed day. I'd like to thank and praise the Lord. Today is my father's 92nd birthday. He is 92 years old today. And it's, it's a privilege to be able to see our parents until, you know, at that age. So I was asking him, do you know me? <laughs> do you still remember me, Father? Because sometimes meron na siya mga Alzheimer's. But yes, I said, yung maingay na anak mo. <laughs> and today, actually, just so I am comforted in case he, anytime, because he's 92 years old, Pastor. So I said, do you know where you are going in case I'm not here? And Because he lives in Las Piñas. In case I'm not here, and the Lord comes to take you, he said, yes, I'm going to heaven. So we prayed today for his 92nd birthday. Praise God for our parents. Amen. Thank you very much, Mom Rose. Any more? Sino po? Meron ba mo? We don't want to miss your testimony and we can praise the Lord for that. Meron? Ponching meron ba? One more at the back. Sige, uh, Shikaina, meron kaya ata Shikaina yo. Are you you want to share something Shikaina? Wala na hiya. Sige, we can get our partner, partner ano tayo, uh, prayer partner tayo, uh, siguro brother Larry, partner tayo. Kasi gusto mo ipag-pray kita. Let's go.
Okay, let us pray the following request from our prayer list. As I pray aloud, you pray at your seat. Lord, tonight we come before thee, we honor you, we acknowledge your presence in the midst of us. Forgive us from all our sins, make us worthy as we approach your throne of grace. We pray for the following people who are suffering from cancer. We pray for Ines Castellano, Kias Morales, Sister Irene Marcelo, Cho Beleza, Roma Falguera, Gisela Salenga, ongoing chemo for cancer. We are praying for your touch that you would if it is your will, Lord, we pray for her recovery. We pray for Adelaida Navarro, recurrence of colorectal cancer, Angelica Sarayu for leukemia, Lorilyn Filma, healing from cancer and your financial provision, Mark Agliam for chemotherapy and your provision upon him, and Elita Liserte, healing from cancer, Seni David Parogino, colon cancer, we pray for your healing and your provision. And our brethren who are suffering from breast cancer, we continue to pray for them. Sister Janet Medidas, Ma'am Cara Luanco, Sister Cory Esquillo, Susan Mapuyan, Sister Marites Diray, Chevelyn Tatel, Rebecca Capelan, Ruben Abanez, Caris Marquez, our Lord, you are our great healer. You are our Jehovah Rapha. We pray for people who are suffering from diabetes and kidney problem. Sister Mina Padagas, Promencio Capuras, Tony Ababao, L.V. Giloreza, Brother Leon Cabico, Danilo Solomon, Dante Rodolfo, Sister Delia Yu, Marilu Bongat, Alicia Trebisonda. They are in their ongoing dialysis and we are praying for your provision upon them. Those people who are suffering from stroke, Tony Kua, Jose Tamunda, Gilmar Cabico, Sister Ramona Malpaho, Ricardo Marquez, and Arthur Perez. Those, Sister Jessalyn Suministrado for bone problem, Enoch Ronces Valles, cerebral palsy, Brother Billy Garcia for back pain, Sister Joss Mayuga, her medication will work for her body. Ma'am Sherry Londo, chronic headache and cervical spondylosis. Ma'am Lucy Lairon, good health for her. Bernardo Regariando, recovery from aneurysm. Lydia Abordo, complete healing from sciatic nerve pain. Dennis Durete, physical strength. Ning Ngai Xiang, mother of Lumpi, for complete recovery from her surgery and complete recovery also for Brother Aaron Medinas. Pastors who are serving in the respective mission field, we are praying for Pastor Ariel Castro in New Zealand. And we praise for their, we rejoice with them for celebrating their 29th church anniversary. We pray for missionary Velsa Shama in Myanmar, missionary Felix Arma and his family in Ghana. Pastor Doc Apawan, property and building in Bataan. Our safe, safety for our brethren in Myanmar. Missionary Anthony for his deputation. Pastor Ireneo Bugtong for complete healing. Good health for him. Missionary Tran Dak Min and Sister Hannah Tran in Vietnam. And we pray for the conflict in Ukraine and Russia. Your financial provision for church building for Alegria Fundamental Baptist Church. And Lord, we really pray for new pastor for ABBC Teresa, the licensure examination for social workers of Binenza, Vanessa Braga on September 18 to 20. Civil engineering board exam on November 18, 19 for Dornel Tanisa that you would guide them and remind them the things that they have learned. We pray for our church, your servant and my family as we serve you through this church. We pray for physical and spiritual strength and wisdom as well. Church officers and staff that we are united in uh, 
in everything that we do in the church, absentees of, of this church, that you would remind them of their responsibility and duty as members of this church. And we are praying for tithes and faith promise that you would touch once again your people so that we can see the need of our missionaries that we are supporting. We pray for the ministries of follow-uping visitors, home office and home Bible studies that out of these ministries will give us more fruit. Volunteers for church ministries and save loved ones and we have evangelistic meeting that uh, it's an opportunity to bring them and that they may know thee as their Lord and Savior. More souls to be saved through our tracts distribution and preaching. Royal Christian Academy that use this ministry to reach more students and academy students for the Lord. We are praying for more enrollees for this year for our Asia Baptist Bible College to train people in the Lord's work. Children ministry, we are praying for our Sunday school teachers that you equip them, that they may teach the kids, and we are praising for godly generation in our church. Good news classes, campus ministry, the Saya ministry, and discipleship and new believers class, we are praying for more fruits from these ministries and continue to use us in sharing the word of god and i pray lord that you would guide us this coming sunday for another victory even the preaching of your word this evening continue to speak unto us through the holy spirit thank you lord for hearing our prayers thank you for your grace in jesus name we pray amen do you have some friend and a visitor Okay, if this is your first time to be at that Baptist Bible Church, can you please uh, raise your hand or stand up? Anyone? So, yun. Yun po pala. Yeah. Welcome po. Welcome po sa aming church. So, uh, shall we all stand up please as we sing our welcome song? Kamayan po natin ang ating mga visitor. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here, hallelujah. There's a welcome here, a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. I am. we sing our second song please open your hymn books to hymn number 356 356 we'll be singing the song sweet hour of prayer on the first verse now ready sing sweet
may be seated as we listen to the God's Word. Good evening again. Please bear with me. Medyo <clears throat> nawala yung boses ko. Hinahanap ko, nawala eh. Siguro napagod kasi nagturo ako maghapon sa, sa senior high sa Anchor of Life Academy. I teach from nagturo ako ng 8 o'clock ng maga hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. 30 minutes lang ang pahinga nun. And then Nagturo ng seminary ng 6.30 ng gabi hanggang 9.30 ng gabi. So, from 7.30 pa lang ng devotion pa ng staff. 7.30 to 9.30, I was doing the talking. So, I probably, that's the reason why I, I lost my voice. But bear with me I, as I preach the Word of God this evening. If you have your Bibles with you, please open your Bible to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, the teachings on the mount, or alin yan, napakaganda nito. If you read Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, they are all written in red letters. Meaning to say, these words utterly, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ uttered those words directly from His mouth. But let me just get one verse from chapter 6. The very familiar prayer of the Lord. And let me just read verse 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Father, we thank you for your word. They are so rich. Few words. Jesus Christ only said few words. If they could be, if they be compiled, it will be just a 16-page pamphlet. But they are so powerful. Lord, help us to understand your word through the working of the Holy Spirit. Again, we ask forgiveness from all our sins. Those who are listening to us through on-site and online, help us and cause us to understand the truth from the Bible. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. This is a very familiar prayer of the Lord, but let me just discuss to you verse 11 give us this day our daily bread bigyan nyo kami Panginoon sa araw na ito nang uh, tinapay namin bakit bread these are the this is the very staple food in biblical times nung sinabi ng Panginoon give us this day our daily bread ang totoo niya napakaganda ng prayer ng Panginoon pero kukunin lang natin yung verse na yan and there are So much truth in that verse. You know, one thing that I love the Lord when He said something, napakaraming ibig sabihin yan. Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to ask Him of our need. The prayer of the Lord, it reminds us that God wants us to ask Him of our need. Bread is basic need. We go to Him in prayer. When we say, give us this day our daily bread, when we pray, alam niyo ba, we are like beggar. We are beggar asking for bread. Nung sinabi ng Panginoon, give us this day our daily bread, pinapakita niya rin yung situation ng bawat tao. And I believe everyone has a need. Every human soul has a need. There are needs that only God can give. Naniniwala ba kayo na lahat ng tao ay may pangangailangan? Ang mga mayayaman ba may pangangailangan pa rin? Sabi nila pag, nag, pag ang mga mayayaman nag-birthday, ang hirap regaluhan. Kasi hindi mo alam kung anong iririgalo mo sa kanila. Kasi parang nasa kanila na ang lahat. Pero kahit nasa kanila na ang lahat, mayroon pa rin pangangailangan ang lahat. Mayaman ka man o mahirap, When the Lord said, give us this day our daily bread, God wants us to, ha- to ask Him of our need. And we can never say, and we cannot say that we don't need God. Na wala na tayong pangangailangan. I remember when Billy Graham met Marilyn Monroe. Kilala niyo si Marilyn Monroe? Yung iba hindi na, misan pag nakipag-usap ka sa mga kabataan, hindi nila kilala yan. 
yung babae na sikat yan dati sa Hollywood, yung, yung sikat na yung, yung, yung pose niya na yung, yung nakaganon siyang ganon, parang ganon. When Billy Graham met her, sabi niya, I think it was inside the elevator, sabi niya na. Sana sabi ni Billy Graham, hey, sabi niya, and Billy Graham started sharing the Lord Jesus Christ to her. You know, anong respond ng Marilyn Monroe? Sabi niya, I don't need your Jesus. I don't need your Jesus. Well, give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to ask Him of our need. Do you have needs this evening? Meron ba kayong pangangailangan? Kung wala kayong pangangailangan, huwag na kayong mag-pray. Pero naniniwala ko, lahat tayo mayroong pangangailangan sa gabing ito. Well, the Lord tells us on what yung mga bagay na pangangailangan natin. Alam naman nyo yan kung anong kaiba, anong pangangailangan, tsaka yung wants. Yung wants, mabubuhay ka naman nun kahit wala nun. Pero yung needs, hindi ka pwedeng mabuhay. And God wants us to ask Him of our need. When Jesus Christ said, Give us this day our daily bread, God wants us to know that He is a giver. God wants us to know that He is a giver. Let me just read another passage from the Bible. Open your Bible to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11, beginning verse 9, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you, that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your, shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Very clear, sabi ng Bible, if you're, you ask something from the Lord, alam niyo ba ang gusto ng, gusto ng Bible na malaman ninyo na ang Panginoon, ang Diyos natin is a generous giver? Hindi siya maramot na Diyos. Sabi rito, kayong ang tatay, sabi ng Bible na being evil, yung nature natin na masama, pero tayo mga tatay, di ba, pag humingi ang mga anak natin, pag humingi ng tinapay, napakasimple lang ng words ng Panginoon. Pag may humingi ba ng tinapay ang, ang anak sa tatay, bibigyan niya ng bato? Katulad ni Patrick, humingi ng fried chicken nung Sunday, binigyan ko ng McDonald's fried chicken. Wow! Ayan ha, finulfill ko na yung promise ko sa'yo. Malayo pala yung inasal. Eh. Pastor, gusto ko nang makakain ng chicken. Hindi ko pa yan anak ha. Paano yun kung naging anak ko pa yan, baka binigyan ko pa ng lechon yan. Alam niyo, hindi maramot ang Diyos. Sabi ng Bible, pag humingi ka sa Panginoon, bibigyan ka ba ng bato? Sino rito humingi sa Diyos, naging maramot ang Diyos? Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to know that He is a giver. You study your Bible well when the Jewish people wandered in the wilderness. Hindi naging maramot ang Diyos. Itong mga tao na to, for 40 years, they were stubborn. Puro angal, murmur. But for 40 years, God rained them mana, quails. God protected them through pillars of fire and clouds. Ang bait ng Panginoon sa kanila. And if you read your Bible, the Lord fed the multitude twice. He put fishes in the net twice. He is a supplier in the time of famine. God gives because God loves and He wants to give. He wants to give. He is not only a giver of material things, even intangible things. God is a life giver. He is a joy giver. He is a hope giver. He gives, gives, and gives and will never run out of supplies. Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to know that He is a giver. Give us. God is a giver. He is not a taker.
Alam nyo, tinitignan ko ulit tayo yung ating faith promise. Kulang talaga, you know? Kulang, no? Kala natin, no? Uh, minsan, kailangan ma-remind ulit tayo, no? Sabi ko sa inyo, pag tayo nagbigay sa Panginoon, ang totoo niyan, wala naman tayong naibigay. Kala na kasi natin ng mga, minsan, alam nyo, pag ako nagsishare, nagpa-follow up, let's say, nagsasolwin, lalo na mayaman, ano sa sabihin? Pag naman ako sumali sa relihiyo niyo, kukunin niyo lang yung salapi namin. Kasi iba, di ba, lalo na, maraming turo ngayon, okay, maniwala yan, yan sa tights, Old Testament lang yan, kukunin lang ng salapi niyo yung mga, mga nagtuturo ng, ng salita ng Diyos. Eh, ang tanong ko ba, ano bang religious organization na hindi kailangan ng pera? At tanong ko, pag dahil ba nagbigay sa Diyos, may naibigay ba talaga tayo sa Diyos? Hindi naman talaga siya taker. Minsan tinitiglan ng Panginoon yung attitude natin. Di ba nalala niyo yung story ng batang umorder ng french fries? Sabi niya, anak, mayaman ng tatay niya. Ano gusto mo? Tatay, I need yung french fries. Unorder ng tatay, dalawang malaking french fries. Nung kumakain na sila, habang kumakain yung anak, yung tatay gustong kumuha, pinalo ng anak niya. Yung kamay niya. Pampira, sabi Habang nakikita niyo yung anak niya kumakain ng french fries, nung kukuha siya, pinalo yung kamay niya, nari, alam niyo, yung tatay na lungkot. Sabi niya, unang-una, yung bumili ng french fries, hindi yung anak niya, siya yung bumili ng french fries. At eto, mas talo siyang nalungkot. Yung tatay niya, sa sobrang yaman niya, kaya niya mag-franchise ng McDonald's. Pero yung anak niya, napaka, hindi alam, walang idea yung anak niya kung gaano kayaman yung tatay niya. Sa totoo lang, pag nagbigay tayo sa Panginoon, parang wala, I mean, wala naman talaga tayong nagbinigay kasi lahat galing sa Kanya. God is not a taker. He is a giver. Subukan niya yan. Totoo yan sinasabi ng Bible. The more you give, the more you will receive. It is better. Ano yan? It is what? Ano, ano yung words ng Panginoon? It's better to give than Pag kayo may tinanggap, tuwan-tuwa kayo. Totoo. Subukan yung magbigay. Subukan yung magbigay. And sabi ng Bible, Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to know that He is a giver at hindi siya maramot na Diyos. Christians, hindi maramot ang Diyos natin. Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to feel that He cares daily. God wants us to feel that He cares daily. Remember the rule when God rained manna upon His people in the wilderness? Ano yung rule sa pagkuha ng manna? Do you still remember? Alin yung manna? Yung tinapay na galing sa langit? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, anong kukunin nila? Kukuha lang sila ng pagkain nila good for one day. It's recorded in in Exodus 16, 19, let no man leave of it till the morning. They are going to get mana one day eating only. Pero pag kinabukasan, it's gonna be Sabbath pang two days yon. Kasi bawal kumuha ng mana on the Sabbath day. Pag kinabukasan, Sabbath, kukuha sila hanggang sa Sunday. But every day, ang kukunin ng nila ng mana, yung pang isang araw lang, eh yung mga iba gahaman, uy, Wag kang makinig kay Moses, kay Pastor Moses. Kunin natin yung pang Tuesday din, pang dalawang araw para wala tayong sobra. You know what happened? Yung kumuha ng sobra, wala. Nangabulok yung mga nakuha nilang sobra kasi sabi ng Panginoon, isang araw lang kung ano yung kakainin nyo sa isang araw. And clearly, the Bible is teaching us, God is teaching us to trust Him daily. It's gonna be a live one day at a time. Trust Him on every single day. Kayo pag malalakas kayo, na, hindi nyo na-appreciate ang single day. Pag tayo malakas, lalo na kabataan, hindi nyo na-appreciate ang single day. Pero pag may sakit ka, pag may sakit ka, lalo na tinaningan ka, cancer mo, stage 3, stage 4, every single day is a miracle. Hihintayin mo ba na may sakit ka na ma-appreciate mo yung single day? Dapat hindi na. Habang malakas ka, 
every single day, dapat nagpapasalamat ka, is a miracle, is a gift of life. And sometimes we took granted of every day. Alam niyo, mabuhay ka lang kayo ng one day at a time. Yung kumakain ka lang one day at a time, three times a day. At paggising mo sa amaga, you feel your heart beating. Man, is a great blessing. Yung iba nga sa inyo, ma- yung iba maangal pa eh. Diba sabi ko, anong survey ngayon? Anong pinakamahirap na pamilya? sa Pilipinas, paano yung malalaman ng kau ay belong to the poorest, poor, ikaw na yung pinaka-poor sa poor. The poorest among the poor. Sino rito, nakakakain kayo ng tatlong beses sa isang araw? Ikaw, Patrick, kita mo, nakakakain ka pa ng tatlong beses sa isang araw. Alam mo ba ang may hirap? Ilang beses nakakakain? Isang beses lang sa dalawang araw. Yung iba sa inyo, di ba nga tatlo eh? May merienda pa in between. May midnight snack pa. You know, God wants us to feel that He cares daily. No single day that He doesn't care. Read your Bible. They are new every morning. Ano yung new every morning? The mercies of the Lord. Ang totoo niyan, pag pinag-aralan mo lahat, bago lahat. Bago lahat. God Ako, naniniwala ako, there is always an in- inventory every day in God's pantry. The supplies overflow. Alin nyo ba yung pantry? Yung mga mayayaman, may pantry. Yung lalagyan ng mga pagkain, ang Panginoon, kumpleto yan. Nag-overflow ang blessing niya. And He careth for you every day. He cares for us every day. Di ba sabi nila, every gising is a blessing. Tama ba yun? Uy, tama yun. Hindi nyo pa nga alam, hindi pa natin alam kung magigising tayo bukas eh. Alam nyo ba, kahit malakas ka, hindi nyo alam kung magigising ka ba bukas? Kaya pag nagising ka bukas, tapos nagkakape ka, iba nga nagkakape, Starbucks eh. Give us this day our daily bread. Number four, God wants us to rely upon Him. When we pray, give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to rely upon Him. Why? He is the source of life. He owns everything. Tingnan nyo, ang ginamit kasi ng Bible dyan, bread. Saan nang gagaling yung bread? Huwag nyo akong sasagutin galing ng bakery, ah. Oh, I mean, alam na yung mga bata, science, pag tinayang science, Paano nagkakaroon ng tinapay? Ha? Magkinti, kasi mapag-aralan natin. Saan ang galing ang tinapay? May, may dalawang uri ng tinapay sa Bible. The wheat and the barley. Yung wheat pang mayaman yon, Yung barley pang mahirap. Remember, yun yung baon ng bata. Yung barley loaves. Saan ang galing ang barley and wheat? Sa halaman. Tama ba? Tama ba? Ako? Hindi naman galing sa dagat yan. Sa halaman, tumubo yan. Paano tumubo yung halaman? Basic lang, hindi ito mahirap. Paano tumubo yung halaman? Ha? Wala mo nang diligan. Siyempre, tanim mo muna sa lupa. Paano mo ito? Nasa lupa muna siya. Tapos? Tama, diniligan mo ng tubig. Tapos? Paano sila lumago? Kailangan mo ng araw. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, yung sinabi ng ano, yung yung full and yung yung sinabi niya ang dami kong ane I'm going to build a great barn sabi ng Panginoon thou fool tinawag siya ng fool he was a successful man thou fool bakit? nung nagkaraman na siya ng maraming ane nakalimutan niya yung kanyang ane hindi nakalimutan niya yung lupa hindi kanya nakalimutan niya yung tubig hindi kanya nakalimutan niya yung araw hindi kanya Lahat yun ang Diyos ang nagpatubo. Give us this day our daily bread. God owns everything. He makes everything to grow. He makes all plants to supply food. He causes everything to live for us, to have something to eat. He created the earth for the earthlings. Pinapakita ng Bible, nung sinabi ng Panginoon, Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us 
to rely upon Him. He is the source of every life. Sa Kanya lahat ng gagaling ang buhay, ano man yan, plants, animals, and human beings, Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to know and to realize that He alone can supply that bread. Nung sinabi ng Panginoon, Give us this day our daily bread, gusto ng Panginoon na ma-realize natin na Siya lang ang pwedeng mag-supply ng bread. Then I will go on. Alam natin yung bread na yan, yung makakain natin araw-araw. Pero I will go beyond the physical bread. When you talk about our daily bread, we also talk about our spiritual food. And what is our spiritual food? What is the bread for our soul? It's none other than the Word of God. The Bible says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Give us this day our daily bread. Well, it's good to pray for your food. How about your spiritual food? Kumakain ba tayo? We ask, do we ask spiritual food for our spiritual strength? Si Job nga, sabi niya, mas nagbigay pa nga siya ng emphasis yung pagkain ng kanyang kaluluwa kaysa kanyang necessary food. Alam niyo ba, ang Diyos lang ang pwedeng magbigay ng ating spiritual bread And that bread is none other than the living word and it's the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the bread from heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Ang maraming tao nakakalimutan the spiritual, the word of God, our bread for our soul. Oh God, give me thought to ponder on. Give me truth to live for. Give me treasures of life. Give me food for my soul. Yung iba sa atin, God has blessed you with material bread. How about spiritual bread? We are blessed physically, but our soul is starving. We don't read our Bible. Every day that we wake up, anong ginagawa natin? Nung sinabi ng Panginoon, give us this day our daily bread. Hindi lang yan physical bread. Pinapaalam ng Panginoon, na siya lang ang pwedeng mag-supply ng ating spiritual bread and that's none other than the Word of God. Kung ang, kung ang sa araw-araw na pagkain natin physical, nangihina tayo eh, kaya naniniwala rin ako ang Kristiyano, pag hindi kumakain spiritual, mangihina rin. Nagkakasakit din. Subukan niyo huwag kumain physical, magkakasakit kayo. Subukan niyo rin huwag kumain spiritual ng Word of God, magkakasakit ka rin. Give us this day our daily bread. Nakakasunod kayo? Next one. Second to the last. When the Lord said, give us this day our daily bread, God wants us to see that without Him, we cannot survive. God wants us to see that without Him, we cannot survive. Without me, He can do nothing. Let go of everything and hold on God and you will survive. Truly, no one fully... Alam nyo, pag tayo, minsan ang, ang tao, no, masyado tayong akit sa material, okay niyan, gamitin lang natin yan, pero huwag tayong magpakontrol. Minsan sinasabi ko sa mga young people, di ba, pag iniwang kayo ng mga girlfriend and boyfriend nyo, hindi tapos ang mundo. Let go of everything. It may be a relational. Ibigay mo yan sa Panginoon, but just hold on God and you will survive. Kahit wala na lahat ang ibang tao, pero meron ka pa rin Diyos and you will survive. Kanina may naka-prayer partner ako, Pastor, sabi ko, pag-pray mo ako. Ganyan. Tingnan niyo si Job na wala lahat ng possession. Na wala yung yung kanyang mga anak. He lost his finances. He lost his family. He lost his flesh. Nagkaroon siyang maraming bukol. 
Pero hindi na wala sa kanya yung Diyos. And he survived. Ang totoo, kailangan lang natin ng Diyos eh. Ang totoo, wala naman tayo ibang kailangan. Ano niyo ba yan? Mga young people, kaya ang mga anak ko, by God's grace, yung tatlo kong anak, tinuroan ko sila. Kaya ako sila pinag-aral, hindi ko sila sabi ko, tinuroan ko sila, hindi para yumaman. Paano maging masaya sa Panginoon? Well, kung yumaman ka, thank the Lord for that. Kasi hindi mo ka nangay yumaman para sumaya. Sabi ko sa kanila, kung masaya kayo sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon, yun lang ang goal ko sa kanila. Kasi pag sabi ko, kahit may, kayo ko nung kapag-aral kayo na wala kayo sa Panginoon, remember, alam niya yan, remember the story of the prodigal son. Kala niya nasa kanya na lahat. Kala niya pag may pera siya, masaya siya. Kala niya pag may babae siya, masaya siya. Masaya siya. Kala niya pag wala siya sa bahay nila, masaya siya. Pero ang nakalimutan niya, ang talagang kasiyahan niya talaga ay ang tatay niya. God wants us to see that without Him, O oh God, give us this day. O oh God, we need you. Kaya mga, mga Kristiyano na, mga absentees natin, yung mga Kristiyano na ayaw na parang hindi kailangan ng Diyos. Kaya minsan kailangan pag ang pastor nagpe-prelude, minsan kami nagpe-prelude. Ang pangit naman, no? paluin mo kaya ito. Magbigyan mo ng sakit. Huwag naman ganun, pangit yun. Pero kailangan pa bang gawin yun? Para malaman mo yung importance ng Diyos. O oh God, give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to see that without Him, we can never survive. We cannot survive. Trust no one fully but God and you will survive. Kahit nang kami sa mga pastor, you know? Trust the Lord in the ministry and you will survive. Don't put your confidence in man. Trust the Lord. Sometime, nung, 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 nung may experience ako, sabi ko, pambira, tighter to. Eh, kasong may kasalanan. Eh, pag niriribig yung kasalanan niya, ayaw niya. Sabi ko, umalis sa church namin. Sabi ko, sayang, tighter. Pero alam niyo, ginawa ng pagano pinalitan ng maraming tighter. Kasi hindi pwedeng magmayabang isang tao eh. Magtiwala lang tayo sa Panginoon. If you have need this evening, trust the Lord. Lastly, Give us this day our daily bread. God wants us to be thankful of His supplies. If He provides, then we give thanks unto Him. Every good blessing is from above. Be thankful for big and small things. Be thankful for blessings undeserved. Alam niyo ba may mga blessing na undeserved? Naniniwala na kayo dyan? Merong blessing na binigay ang Diyos na hindi niyo deserve. Pero ibinigay niya. Mag-isip kayo. Marami niyan. Ang tawag ko dyan, blessings undeserved. Hindi niyo yung deserve but God gave it anyway. Ano yung tawag doon? Grace. Be thankful for your life. Yung mag-exist ka lang sa mundo, be thankful. Yung sana, hindi, pwede ka naman hindi mag-exist eh. But God let you exist on this earth, at lalo na niligtas ka pa ng Panginoon. Be thankful. Oh God, give us this day our daily bread. You are talking to the divine. Why worry? Sabi ng Panginoon in Matthew chapter six, take no thought of your life. You don't have any idea who I am. Isinabi ng Panginoon yon, di ba? He fed the fowls of the air. He clothed the grass of the field. Even Solomon was not arrayed with this. Take no thought of your life. When I was starting the ministry, minsan, lalo na nag-mission kami sa Paranyang, kaya sabi kong gano'n, Lord, how can I build, how can I put my kids para mag-aral someday? You know, ginawa ng Panginoon, lahat, ito, I'll be honest with you, lahat ng worry ko, walang nangyari. Lahat! Pero nag-itinaras ko lang sa Panginoon. Why? Give us this day our daily bread. God knows everything. Maging faithful lang na sa Panginoon. Magiging totoo yan. Give us this day. Hindi maramot ang Diyos. Kung may sakit ka, 
nagpe-pray ka, pwede kang pagalingin ng Diyos kung kalooban niya. Kung hindi, His grace is sufficient. Hindi maramot ang Diyos. Kaya kayo, huwag kayong magagalit sa Diyos. Lord, ba't di mo ako pagalingin? Yung binigyan ka lang ng buhay sa earth, maging thankful ka na. Lalo na nakaabot ka ng 30, 40, may mga, may mga taong hindi inaabot ng 30 years old. Kung nga, pag nasa 20, 30 ka na, 40, 50, 60, 70, magiging maangal pa ba tayo sa Diyos? Hey, thank you, Lord! Salamat. Inexist mo ako sa mundong ito. Napakabait ng Diyos para, mag, para tayo magtampo. Give us this day. Do you have need right now? You can trust the Lord for this. Let us all stand up and let us pray. Father, we thank you for this evening. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us. Give us this day our daily bread. Seven words uttered from the mouth of Jesus Christ, but so powerful enough to remind us that we are still human beings. We are beggars before God, that without God, we can never survive this world. You are the source of everything. You are the source of life. And we can never brag about that because everything comes from you. Give us this day our daily bread. It teaches us that we are limited and it teaches us that God is unlimited. Give us this day our daily bread. It reminds us that everything comes from the Lord. Give us this day our daily bread. The bread of life is none other than the Lord. Christians, do you have need this evening? I don't know your need. The Bible says, give us this day our daily bread. The problem is that you don't call upon Him. You don't have any idea how powerful God is, the great provider. Give us this day. You want to pray? You want to ask something? Kung may problema come on. Why don't you come and pray here at the altar? Oh God, give us this day. Give me, Lord. Give me. God is a giver. Amen. As the pianist plays, why don't you come? The invitation is open. Give us this day. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to prolong this invitation. Amen. God bless your heart. Amen. Give us this day. Oh God, I know you are the giver. God is only the giver of everything. He's the giver of air, water. Everything comes from the Lord. Give us this day. You alone, God, you are my need. Give us this day. I know you have needs and God is willing to provide your needs. Hindi siya maramot. Ang Diyos natin, hindi siya maramot. Paano siya magiging maramot? He gave His only begotten Son. If God gave us His best, wala na siyang ibibigay. Kaya niya nang ibigay lahat. Pinigay niya na yung best. How much more your need? Malit lang na bagay yan sa Diyos. All you need to do is to trust Him. Oh, Father, we thank you. Yes, we really thank you. Paul said, But God shall supply all our need. And the word used by Paul there is need. Singular. It is not needs, but need. Because our only need is none other than Jesus Christ. If you have Jesus Christ, we have everything. Oh, God, give us this this day, our daily bread, and you are teaching us to live one day at a time. And we should not dev never be worried about our life. Yes, we don't know our future, but we know who holds our future. Many Christians came forward, and I don't know their hearts. Oh Lord, speak unto them, strengthen their faith, whatever things that they have committed and prayed at the altar. Oh God, by your grace and your mercy, answer them according to your will. Continue to bless your people. Continue to bless this church. And we really need the Word of God to revive us. Lord, whatever things that has been transpired for this day, for tonight, we give you all the glory. Bless our giving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Let's get our offering. Randy? Hey, Randy.
Let's have our closing song, Brother Jay. Open your hymn books to hymn number 14. Hymn number 14 will be singing the song, Great is Thy Faithfulness. On the first verse now, ready, sing. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion. people say, Amen. We are now dismissed.